Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate on how to do a soft tackle inside of a dubbing loop. You can do this, I've, well, I've done it with up to three different colors and sized feathers uh, at one time. Uh, I've actually tried to shoot this video a couple times demonstrating with two, um, but you, it's a little bit more of a delicate process. You, I mean, you just got to hold on to things a little bit better, and I just don't have the room uh, in front of me with the camera in the way. So I'm just going to do it with one. But uh, yeah, you can do this for with two. So what, here we just got this uh, partridge feather. This is actually from further down the skin. And, um, you know, typically these kind of barbs are going to be way too long for a soft tackle. Uh, I mean, there might be some patterns that call for something that long. Um, but the way you go about doing this is you just pull all your feathers off to the side of the stem. You want to trim out the tip, usually, uh, just because a lot of the times it'll just get in your way. And we're just going to hold these off to the side. And even though these are uneven, you can kind of even them up by angling the hackle a little bit. Uh, and they'll kind of even up for you a little, a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take, you need longer scissors. You want long scissors and you want to trim those barbs carefully as close to the thread as you can get on your dubbing loop. Make sure your dubbing loop is waxed. Let me just pinch and slide right on up. And then I'm just going to twist up my dubbing spinner. I've just got a weighted brass spinner. And I usually do two or three of these. Uh, if you're using woven thread, uh, you definitely want to do two or three turns with the spinner because a lot of the times the, the, the diameter is it's not laying flat like a flat thread would, so it doesn't... Uh, it just doesn't quite have the grab power um, I've noticed uh, but you know that could be user error so once you have all your hackle in place uh, where you want it and now the neat thing too is is you can take these long large hackles and decide how far you want them going back along your hook shank but anyway so I just clip out the uh, I just clip out the thread and put it on my hackle pliers and then just start palmering it just like this. It's actually really simple to do. Uh, it will really expand your inventory. Um, you know, if you're somebody that's got like a lot of hen, a lot of pheasant and things of that nature where you just, you've got all this nice soft hackle-ish, excuse me, soft hackle-ish type uh, material, but uh, it's typically too, you know, long or whatever. Um, using this method will eliminate that. And so, uh, this will really open up your uh, inventory from stuff you already just have. You, you know, often you won't even have to go out and buy anything new. So, um, as long as you space it out well, you'll get a decent little soft tackle. Um, it's a little out of the norm, but uh, it's actually a great technique. I've used it a whole lot, and I've, I've done a lot of live demonstrations on it where people have finally convinced me to shoot a video on it. So, anyway, there you go. Uh, I, uh, I hope it helps. Uh, Always appreciate it. A like, thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And um, happy tying, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.